you about to get Joe Rogan? What do you mean? Why? Huge fan of internet weirdos that post content online. I get really excited when I find a new entertaining goofball. And over the years, I've kind of made this collection in my little noodle up here, like a little mental museum of my favorite internet oddity. And I'll sometimes just get the urge to see how they're doing. So I'll go to their content, put their sack in my hand, and tell them to cough to give them a checkup, just to see what's going on and have a little laugh. And recently, I was made aware of one of the most bafflingly delusional content creators I've seen in quite some time, which is a TikTok psychic named Ashley. I made a video on her going over her whole situation. I'll break it down just in case you don't know who this is. Ashley is a self-proclaimed clairvoyant psychic who tries to solve real-world mysteries. She uses less reasoning than Scooby-Doo does in the cartoon. Like, she doesn't even bother actually investigating. She just makes up fan fiction that she pulls out of her ass and then tries to portray it as the truth. So, she recently made like a hundred something TikTok videos accusing a woman named Rebecca Schofield of being the person responsible for the murder of four University of Idaho students. Yeah. This is a complete baseless claim. She used tarot card readings as well as her own patented method of tapping into the universal consciousness, surfing the- Wow, denying, denying the truth once again, Charlie. Oh, how far the mighty have fallen. Obviously, TikTok psychics are real and they're doing real scientific work. Or, well, I mean, I guess science is fake and tarot card readings are real. So clearly, clearly you're a non-believer, okay? And you're doing non-believer propaganda. I'm not on board with this. The cosmic vibes of astrology or whatever and accusing Rebecca Schofield relentlessly of being the murderer. She's now being sued for this because as it turns out, Rebecca Schofield is completely innocent. It seems Ashley is going to need to spend a little more time mastering the avatar state to get the proper information because he TikTok, people on TikTok would call him bigoted for saying witchcraft isn't real. I love that. Here's the main suspect, Brian Koberger. Now, even if it somehow turns out by a crazy plot twist, it's not Brian, even though there is a ton of evidence behind it being him, it is still 100% not Rebecca Schofield, as Ashley has claimed hundreds of times now. Now, you would assume that a rational person, after being sued for defamation for accusing an innocent woman of being a murderer, and the most likely real murderer being arrested, you'd think that she'd then be like, yep, looks like I was wrong, this is a big boo-boo from me here, sorry about all that. The natural next step would be apologizing and trying to move on from it, backpedaling like, uh, looks like I made a mistake, the spirit realm was, you know, the Wi-Fi signals were, were blocking it and I didn't have my shungite around me. But in the case of Ashley, you'd be wrong because she commits even further to the delusion and even after the threat of being slapped around legally, she is still maintaining that she's correct and everyone else is. One guy debunks witches on TikTok left and right, and instead of quitting their bullshit, they doubled down and called him a powerful warlock. Dude, like, there are certain things that happen on TikTok that I find to be kind of funny, okay? Like, uh, the, the idea that, like, fairies are real. It's like kids getting in on the fun, you know what I mean? And then there are people who take that shit super seriously and go bananas mode, okay? And you're not supposed to go full bananas mode. That is going full bananas mode, dude. Do not be with the TikTok witches. You are going to get us all hexed. No, I have some witches in this uh, audience who have counter hexed and defended me, okay? From all of the other witches who are always hexing my ass, okay? I do. I have some, I have some, some witches in here, all right? It's just like if you're having fun with it, that's great. Okay, I'm, I'm happy with it. But like, don't take it super seriously, please. Like, it's not real. And don't, you know, don't claim that like an innocent person is responsible for a gruesome murder because you saw it in a tarot card. It's wrong. I'd like to show you some of these TikToks and I already did talk about some of these in the last video I made, but I actually want to bring this out to a bigger topic. And that's people's inability to accept responsibility even when faced with the absolute truth. People are so afraid of being wrong that they will just do the most unrealistic mental gymnastics that you couldn't even write in a cartoon in order to justify how they're still correct and they're not wrong. I've seen this all over Twitter. When someone gets dunked on on Twitter, like they get provably like dunked on with facts, logic, evidence, they still will discredit it or come up with some reason that that evidence, the facts, the proven truth is wrong and they are right. 
It's this weird defense mechanism that's so infuriating. You see it all the time with flat earthers. How many times have flat earthers proven with their own experiments that the world is round and yet they still decide to believe that it's flat? It's people still just wanting to feel special. And it doesn't matter what you bring to them, no matter how bulletproof the evidence or the truth is, they'll just decide not to care. They'll just go back to that. Oh God. And he's a globe head. He's a globe head, dude. Oh fuck. Come on, Charlie. I mean, the, the witchcraft being fake, you're a non-believer. That's fine. Leftists can't be witches. Checkmate lib. Oh God, please stop. But you're also a globe tard. Like, come on, dude. The belief that makes them feel like they're above everyone else and their intelligence is unrivaled. It, it's just, it really grinds my asshole. Like chafes the fuck out of it. I went on Ashley's TikTok today because I thought it'd be fun just to have a little giggle. But as I watched her videos, that smile quickly turned to a frown and I just got so frustrated listening to her try and justify how she's still right. Also, let's pay attention to the statement the University of Idaho gave regarding the lawsuit that Rebecca Schofield has against me, but also the accusations that I made that she was the one who ordered and who is responsible for the murder of the four University of Idaho students. It says, while this lawsuit is a private matter, U of I does not condone spreading false information and find this particular allegation to be one of the worst we have seen. That sounds reasonable. Straight to the point. This is false information and some- Wait, hold on. And false information and find this particular allegation to be one of the worst we have seen. That sounds reasonable. Straight to the point. This is false information and some of the worst we've ever seen. Also, the fan fiction she's writing is absolute garbage and trash. She should stop trying to write these erotic novels that she's cooking up here and trying to pass it off as real evidence in a legitimate murder where four students lost their lives. She's trying to capitalize off the death of these four students with her for her own clout. It, so there was a lot more they could have said to really just you know. i mean this is a part of like the medieval peasantification of of society right like you have to have witches like we've already done this like we we already went through it like we're doing the yes me lord the wealthy deserve it me lord they are god send me lord right and we're narking on other like working class individuals being like yes they are storing the fucking grain me lord our yield was better than what we showed you last year, my lord. And then they turn around and they're like, Ice giants are real! They're fucking real! So now, we got peasants and nobles, and the medieval peasantification of society will, of course, have a very real witchcraft element to it. Eventually, we're going to start literally throwing women in water after, you know, putting a chain around them and and strapping them onto a heavy rock to be like these witches are real just wait it's coming you know drive the nail in but they made a very generic boilerplate response that still just kind of covers this like the whole situation they've made it clear that they do not condone the spreading of false information that's one and for this one they believe that the allegations i've made is the worst they've seen Let's pay attention to what they didn't say, which is they didn't say that they agree that Rebecca Schofield didn't know these students. They didn't say that they agree that she didn't teach these students. And they said they didn't say that they agree that she didn't advise or mentor any of these students. This statement. What? Bro, what? You may be a witch according to this witch talk lady. Ten times you were born a witch. <sighs> Number one, you always felt like an outsider. Number oh, that's two, me. You hate large crowds. Oh, or dude, yeah. Large groups Absolutely. Of people. You have a really strong intuition. Oh, definitely. So I have a strong intuition. People. Animals are drawn to you. Certainly, you love especially nature. dogs. Small things uh, like nope, not really. Rain, don't like nature. Happy. That's wrong. You've always been longing for a place that you don't even know where or why. I don't know You're what that means, healer. even. People you just met. Definitely not true. I don't have, I'm not a natural healer. Over daytime. Don't you prefer that either. I like to sleep at night. Your psychic abilities heightens during the nighttime. You get yeah. a lot of messages and downloads through your dreams. What? You're drawn to what? crystals and no. love collecting them. Uh, You've always been very interested in metaphysical and esoteric subjects. You okay, that's not uh no not really on to the unknown last and most importantly you're a powerful manifester so witches are just autistic 
I mean, they're definitely neurodivergent. I don't know if it's autism or something else, but... 10 signs you were born. Yes. How do I take control of this power? I need to know. So what do I do with all this? Sometimes I feel I'm drowning. Oh my God. I have all of them signs. Wow. I'm a witch. You are describing the personality of a Scorpio, not a witch. Oh shit. The girls are fighting. Then you have astrology TikTok fighting witch talk. I mean, listen, I've said this already. Everyone gets one thing. Okay. Like hot girls are allowed to believe one completely unhinged, insane thing. Like just absolutely unhinged that th those are the rules i mean everyone is but especially uh you know i just uh, just memefied it by saying hot girls are allowed masturbation is a form of witchcraft Shadow Wizard Money Gang. we love casting spells <laughs> black metal weenie casting Wait, what the fuck is this? Like, I want the original one. I want the original, like, woman. I want to see this actual fucking witchcraft. She's cooking up an argument, and I want to hear it, okay? Let her cook. What did I... What is my weird thing that I believe in? I don't know. What is it? Chat would be better at describing it, probably. I can't think of it right now. Socialism? No. I don't think that's weird. Yeah, I guess that I can be friends with a bear. That like bears would be chill about my vibes and hippos in general. Everybody's technically Turkish. That's a meme. That's not serious. I do have superstitious uh, uh, behaviors though, for sure. But that's Turkish. I think that's just being Turkish. Like I believe in the 9-3 curse, which I can describe. There's a mathematical reason for it. Anyway, let's continue. It's carefully written. Just in case she's guilty. Getting your arm caught in an escalator and having it crushed to fucking pieces in front of you would be less painful and less traumatizing than listening to her speak about this situation. I, I don't even know where to begin. Let's start with the obvious. What the fuck are you even trying to say? Here's their statement. But here's what's suspiciously absent from their statement. This is some stupid shit a four-year-old would cook up in their head. You can actually make this argument for every statement ever. For example, with your own TikToks, you have not once said that you aren't the murderer. Should I start suspecting you as a culprit in this case, as one of the chief suspects? You've made hundreds of TikToks and I don't think you've mentioned being innocent here. Where were you on the night of the murders, Ashley? It's very odd that you've chosen not to proclaim your innocence or mention where you were on the night of the murders. Now, I'm starting to, you know, furrow my brow a bit here and wonder, what's going on behind the scenes, Ashley? Why hasn't that been part of any of your statements? Peculiar, isn't it? They didn't address any of the brain-dead shit that you said in this TikTok in their statement because they didn't need to. It's already been proven by law enforcement that you're just wrong on every single goddamn claim. It's a lot of people on YouTube, on the news and articles, the comments, TikTok videos, whatever. When the truth comes out and you see that I'm right, I just want you Yo, if she was truly clairvoyant, she would literally see that she's getting slapped with a very serious defamation suit. That she is not going to be able to, to survive, okay? Like, that's what I don't understand. Like, how the f Like, you don't even have to be clairvoyant or, or see the f future to be able to recognize that, by the way. Oh, my lord. I want you guys to leave that stuff up and stand on what you said. Don't delete it and try to bandwagon. Stand on it. Your arrogance makes me want to- Why are men so agitated towards astrology and mythical stuff? Wait, what? I think it's literally because, like, they don't want to see other people having fun. I mean, have you seen the way men behave about crypto? It's like male astrology, but they don't give a f They love their own fun, and they get super mad when people make fun of that. It's the same shit. They don't want to see it. People saying, because it's not real. No, man. Everybody believes in dumb shit, okay? Everybody believes in dumb shit. Everyone. Everyone believes in dumb shit. Sigma alpha shit is male astrology? Yeah, it's just, they're dumb. Who cares? I don't care. If you're having fun with it, I don't have an issue with it, okay? I don't. I don't. You're not smarter by, like, constantly and consistently calling it out. Like, everybody recognizes it. Do you understand? Everyone recognizes that it's, like, silly. You're, you're not super f smart for constantly yelling about it. It's when it becomes a problem. That's when it's unacceptable and not good. Okay? And crypto, unironically, is. 
astrology for the most part is not it's just like haha funny who cares you know what i mean oh that murderer real scorpio energy it's gemini season my mercury is in gatorade that sort of shit is whatever it's like haha laugh about it who cares i want to cry uh ashley if anything comes out that's even remotely adjacent to you making a claim that's almost grounded in reality i will actually shit my pants of course I will keep it all up. For those that don't know, a bulk of her claims were about Rebecca Schofield and her internalized lesbianism, where she was a, an advisor or a mentor to one of the students and she fell in love with her, but this conflicted with her traditional values and then the student, you know, she was kind of old and then, but what about Rebecca's husband? And she, she just made like a Fifty Shades of Grey novel around real murders and blaming a real innocent lady for isn't this an example of astrology? No, this is not astrology. This is witch talk causing harm. And I, I, I agree. This is an adequate way. To, uh, this is an adequate thing to criticize. For all of it. And not only her, she also throws another real person under the bus as a potential murderer here. Talking about how they, you know, like fucking form this kind of villain alliance here and hired assassins to take out the students. It, like, it, it's an unreal amount of garbage and it actually does make me upset that she truly believes it so firmly i took a nap i tried to quit but i can't quit we know we know you can't quit we know and i don't even want to cry on you but when i went to sleep i had a dream and in the dream it was kaylee's mom and kaylee's dad and i was by kaylee's mom and we were just crying just crying and that is so hurtful. But anyway, I'm not going to- It's gonna so hurtful that in my dream, the, the victim's mom and dad and the victim was crying alongside me. You're being hurtful. <laughs> That's awesome. Quit. Dude, it's not- She doesn't have schizophrenia, man. She's just like literally an American, okay? There is nothing more like hyper-individualistic and hyper-narcissistic than being an American. She literally thinks like, I came up with it, so it has to be real. Nobody checks themselves ever and they wreck themselves regularly. Okay. That's it. In many ways, this level of delusion and thinking that like, uh, and the sense of entitlement that you get is no different than like Republicans being like gas stoves, brother. That's right. You're not taking it away from me. I don't give a fuck if my child has asthma. That's just how it is. Everyone is like this. Everyone is like this. It's just like delusional. Uh, it's part grifter. It's part delusion but it's mostly just like a sense of narcissism, entitlement, and, and, uh, and assuming that like because you came up with an opinion all on your own, that means that uh, that opinion must be true because like how could it be wrong? You're, you're an incredibly unique and incredibly talented and brilliant person. That's what most people think, unfortunately. Like I do feel despite my uh, obvious uh, you know faults, flaws, failures, uh, feelings of, of narcissism that uh, regularly manifest, I do have crippling insecurities that I think hold me back as it pertains to my level of intelligence. Um, I am regularly uh, open about how stupid I am or telling you that I don't know a certain thing, uh, perhaps to a fault. And when I see stuff like this, I'm like, God damn, like their confidence is incredible. I've mistakenly let them lead me into masculine energy, which is protective energy because of the lawsuits and all the negativity and, and the media and the comments and things of that sort. I've let them force me into masculinity, protective energy. But I should have continued to focus on what I know, which is feminine, intuitive, receptive energy absolutely disgusting she's now talking about how one of the victim's parents came to her in a dream and they were crying together over all of this and then you know all of the negativities forcing her into masculine energy whatever the fuck that means i did however get a laugh out of this whole like masculine versus feminine energy thing as if it's just something that can wash over you because some people left mean comments or called you out on your bullshit like damn goodness gracious i looked at a piece of wood today and the masculine energy nearly made me pass out or like hey charlie we're going to a bar tonight are you in Nah, sorry, I can't, bro. I ate a Pop-Tart earlier today and I got hit with some childish energy, so now I'm no longer old enough to drink. But you guys have fun tonight. Just such a f stupid, silly thing. Hey, long story short, I'm not posting no more free information regarding this case online anymore. You got people on here asking me information and using my information, then turn around and saying I'm crazy or leading protests against me and allowing me to be badgered. 
Even when she does decide to shut the f which I am- She's paywalling it. Imagine she was advised to do by a lawyer who's instructing her to stop, hit the brakes as hard as possible, and stop posting this shit. She still tries to spin it as like a victory for her, and we're all the bad guys for calling her out on how deplorable the whole thing is. So yeah, I just wanted to go over this because I am so tired of people just refusing to accept reality. Like, there's nothing wrong with being wrong. Like, changing your beliefs is a natural thing. It's healthy. You should change your beliefs. You shouldn't have the same beliefs right now as you did 10 years ago. You should be evolving as you're getting new information, you're learning new things. Your beliefs should also be evolving as well. There is no reason to stick to something that is provably wrong and false. It just makes no goddamn sense, and it is is—it is really, it made me upset today, damn it, and I needed to rant. That's about it. See ya. Respect. Uh, also, I found, uh, someone found that the masturbation is witchcraft thing. Masturbation is a form of witchcraft. Not anyone is realizing that this is a demonic attack and it's a form of witchcraft. Masturbation is a form of control. You Dude, the TikTok, the TikTok voice is so perfect. Understand that you are literally controlling. I'm a wizard, dog. I, you don't understand. Like, this is part of the reason why I defend the Wiccans and the witches and all that shit. Because, like, I'm literally motherfucking Harry Potter, bitch. You understand? I'm doing crazy things out there, okay? If jerking off is witchcraft, call me the King Wiccan, okay? I'm Gandalf the Grey. I'm Gandalf the White. I'm doing all matter of different wizardry, bro. ...and orgasm. You're controlling your own pleasure. That is witchcraft. That is a curse that you begin to place over your own life that will then literally bleed into your future children's life. This means that this will become a generational curse that you started or that your parents started that will now go to the next generation. It's witchcraft. I cancel the assignment of wet dreams. I cancel the assignment of orgasming, having orgasms in my dreams. I cancel... The assignment of master bro i can't believe this like she's openly first of all i have never i've never had a wet dream that's partially because i jerk off okay i masturbate that's it so when you start talking about uh you know wet dreams and shit like that that implies that you have pent up sexual frustration like you're literally admitting that dude what the like you got you got some pent up shit going on Crank one out, lady. Get a vibrator. Orgasming, having orgasms in my dreams. I cancel the assignment of masturbation. I cancel the assignment of sexual immorality over my life. You gotta bind the enemy. In the name of Jesus, we break all masturbation and witchcraft off your life now. Masturbation is a form of witchcraft. Not anyone is realizing that this is a demonic attack and it's a form. She, was, she thought she was spitting. Oh, by the way, uh, the mullah's... Worst nightmare, IDF. IDF doing the same, like, PSYOP shit. The E-girl influencers trying to get Gen Z into the military. It's not going to work, obviously. Ironically, because all Gen Z wants to do is just fucking jerk off to the E-girls and, you know, spend money on OnlyFans instead of going into the they-them military. Okay? I don't want to be horny anymore. I just want to be happy. Oh, it's true. I do feel that way. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>